What's up, everybody, and welcome to Real Time for the Real Everyday Movie Fan. I'm Ryan Murphy. I'm Josh Williams. And today we're giving you a real time review of mid 90s. So, Josh, you got to see this movie. I did not. We're going to hear your thoughts. First and foremost, who directed this movie? Who's in it? Uh, directed, actually written and directed by Jonah Hill. Yeah. And the stars, they're all brand new cast of kids. The only one you even recognize is Lucas Hedges. Mm -hmm. He plays the uh, main character's kid. The main character, his the the kid, big his brother, yeah. big brother. Yep. Mm -hmm. I can't remember the other kids. Do you have them on top of your head? Nope. Sorry, guys. <laughs> It'll be in the description right here if you're actually curious who they are. Sure. But they're a bunch of new kids. Um, but other than that, this movie I actually really really liked mm -hmm. a lot. I thought. What's your score out of ten? Uh, score out of ten, I'm going to give it a very solid eight point five. Okay. Well, actually, no, I'm going to bump it up. 8.9. 8.9. But not quite that 9.0. It can't be. Well, there's a few... I'm, I'm curious if you actually have a measurement system that actually has 100 points of measurement on it. I do. Like, <laughs> I do. so this was like, it's not 8.8, .8, and it's not 9.0. <laughs> It is right there at that 8.9. Well, I, 89 percent people. I feel it helps me because I see so many movies throughout the year. Sure. That it helps me... Helps well, like, me. why not 8.8? What gets that extra point? What gives that extra point one percent? Point one percent. Just some of the other things that happen throughout the film. I'll okay. Tell you about it here in a second. But for Jonah Hill's directorial debut, sure, I thought he did a great job. And one of the things I really liked was, it was a technical standpoint, a filmmaking uh, choice he made. He did it in four point three aspect ratio, okay, which helps it give that feel of the nineties because it's supposed to take place in the nineties. Of course, it's called mm -hmm. mid nineties. Duh, but. Besides that, oh, it, I thought it was about Betty White. Yeah, I know it could have very well been easy about that, but no, it it really helped give that feel and, and it had this grainy texture to it, mm -hmm. where it made it made it seem like it was recorded like with film that was you know made back then for like home video recordings, which was really nice. I actually liked that technical choice. Some people thought it was very distracting. It's obvious, but I liked it because it, it kind of gives some artistic thought to it. Mm -hmm. But other than that, I mean, it really. We both grew up in the 90s, so it sure. really transforms you there. Mm -hmm. Like, the language people use, a lot of the little pop, a lot of pop culture references are there, the music. It really, it's like, it's like the, as far as pop culture feels, as far as pop culture goes, it's like this version of Stranger Things. Okay. Like, so many references, so many different things that are there, and it's more of a, a uh, gritty type of uh, side of the 90s, too. Mm -hmm. We kind of like a lot of a lot of cussing going on. A lot of you know you're gay or you stop being you know you know just different stuff like that that pe uh, people use in the '90s, mm -hmm. in which I found very interesting because Jonah Hill got a lot of crap for that. Like he got yeah. a lot of he got a lot of flack because it was yeah. very uh, people were very offended by it. Yeah. But if you're portraying a time frame, right. I thought it was extremely organic. Yeah. And that was one of the great things I liked about it quite a bit. Mm -hmm. um, one of the other things I really really liked was. The, the cast. The cast of kids, especially the main kid, he did a great job. Lucas Hedges was something very different than you've seen him before in. Like, you saw him. I mean, you've only really seen him in Manchester by the Sea as of it. And uh, uh, Lady Bird. Bird. Yeah. So, Matt, or Three Billboards Outside Ebbing, Missouri. Oh, duh. Duh. Yeah. Sorry. But, uh, but this is totally different than what you've actually seen him in. Mm -hmm. He plays, like, a wannabe rapper kid <laughs> who's really mean to his brother. Like, they get real serious. Like, when he beats up his brother, it's like... Wow, like mm -hmm. it, it almost looks like they actually, like he actually punched this kid in the face, like hard. It was it was rough, but it also it portrays how some families, how some family dynamics were back then, and it really resonated with me a lot in the sense it just it just gave me, I mean, <laughs> that feel. I, it's hard sure. to explain. But what's what's good about this in terms of the story? Is it more of a dramatic story? Is it sort of pseudo comedic, or what's overall what's so enticing about it? What what is it? What is it? It's kind of a, uh, it's it's kind of a coming of age comedy. It, well, it's got comedy elements, oh. but it's a really good dramatic coming of age. Cause it's a kid who just has so much trouble at home. His his mom's always working as a single mom, which that's one of the things I really resonate with because it's like a single mom home. Sure. And then you know the older brother, which I was I was the older brother, but you know what I mean. And then it's this kid who's just trying to find his belonging. He's trying to find somewhere to belong to and feel welcomed because he doesn't really have friends at school. So he meets these skateboarder kids and he just instantly just like, oh, I want to be a part. I want to be with them because they look cool because he just that's all he wants. He wants to feel a sense of belonging. And that really worked really well. And I thought the dynamic with all the kids, even though it's kind of dysfunctional, but, you know, friendships, just childhood friendships like that were back then. Sure. It, it really hit home that even in, like when they would like rag on each other or get mad at each other. They were they had that very 
we're a family type of dynamic feel to it. And I really liked that. Mm -hmm. And a lot of the comedic elements were there. Like I said, but if you were if you weren't from the '90s, you wouldn't get the comedic elements. Yeah, it's kind of like an R-rated Sandlot. It is. It, it, <laughs> it kind of yeah. That's actually a very good. And I thought of as far as the story goes, it reminded me a lot of like Boyhood, okay. where it, it kind of thrusts you into this kid's life. Mm -hmm. You don't you learn about him as you go along through nuance and non-verbal storytelling. Sure. But it it kind of it, it that's one of my likes and dislikes. I liked it because of that, but the abrupt ending I didn't so much like because I was so invested. Like that's why it wasn't a nine for me, because that's why it's not a nine. It's that not, was point one percent removal of points for having an abrupt ending. That and just not being any higher than that, because okay. that was one of the negatives for me is that it this the ending was so abrupt, especially like what happens at the end. Okay. Like you're so much just like, what now? Which I guess you're just getting a slice of these kids' lives, and you're getting a slice of what this main kid's life. But still, it kind of it, it, did, it left me feeling non-satisfied, if yeah. that makes sense. Sure. All right. So, Josh gives this movie a 9 out of 10. and uh... I can definitely <laughs> recommend it. If it's still in play in your theaters, go check this out. It's actually very worth your time. It is, I will say, for Jonah Hill's directorial debut, it is a triumph. It is, I'm extremely impressed with his work. I, I'm, I'm glad to see that we've seen actors uh, go to, towards directing like him and John Krasinski and... Sure. You know, all these different types, uh, uh, Chris Evans, you know, stuff like that. Mm -hmm. I'm glad to see when he made his Toby, it was this good, and then I'm excited to see what he does in the future. So, check it out. I highly recommend it. All right, folks, that'll do us for today. Thank you very much for watching. What did you think of mid 90s if you've seen it? Leave your comments in the section below and let us know your thoughts. Also, if you'd like to see, like, subscribe to our channel on Facebook, YouTube, Twitter, and Stardust. The links are in the description below. And until next time, I'm Ryan Murphy. I'm Josh Williams. And thank you for keeping it real with real time.